Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, second video about PHP. Uh, first thing that I forgot to tell you in the first video, and uh, I forgot to tell you, uh, to um, other than XAMPP, uh, we need this uh, this plugin to inside our Visual Studio Code. Uh, or in other play or in other editors, maybe is a little different, but I think it's the same. Anyway, I assume that uh, all of you are using Visual Studio Code also because Visual Studio Code is really the most used uh, IDE in um, right now. Anyway, uh, install this is just a click, and uh, it's uh, needed for our PHP. Uh, second, we are going to to create um, to create a file. Uh, where where uh, we're going to um, we're going to create a file uh, inside the Visual Studio, um, and uh, to do uh, to do it, we don't need just to uh, like uh, in HTML. We only need to use uh, um, we only need to use uh, any place inside your computer because. Uh, it was just the front end, but now we are using the for the back end. So we need to uh, to to run it from a server side. So uh, we need to place our folder inside our XAMPP folder. So you go to XAMPP. Uh, you go to XAMPP, like me now, and um, and you go to inside the HT docs, like I was. Anyway, this is the XAMPP folder. There are a lot of things. You go inside here, and you can really just uh, create a new folder and place call it project. Okay, so uh, now we have another folder. Uh, we can come here. Um, we can come here. We can um, say open folder. And um, and uh, you open the project folder, uh, select okay. So now we can uh, do whatever you already know. So we start, we edit a new file, we call it index.html. We place start, uh, control um, one. I think you already know this, and uh, we can uh, already add it. Uh, um, I don't know, uh, h1, for example, and maybe title, uh, we change it to PHP tutorial. Anyway, um, now, if I save at least, uh, you can see already here, uh, we go inside project, and there is our index.html um, uh, file. Uh, so, um, this is uh, the, the first thing, you need to, to place your file inside a, a folder. Second thing, uh, if you want to uh, open to open uh, your file, um, you can um, now it's written example. So we can come here, and uh, you write one seventy one one hundred seventy nine zero zero one uh, blah blah blah, uh, and then you specify. Project and here it is. There is an example. So uh, if you want to open your project, you specify that you are using this uh, this server, and then you give the you give it the folder that you want. Very simple. Uh, and uh, okay. Uh, so uh, what I wanted to do, uh, we create a form. Let's create a form. To see a little of PHP in action is just a little example. Um, action, no, action post doesn't make sense. Action to uh, example. 
probably you already know what I'm doing. If you don't, a form is a um, HTML tag to create um, uh, to create a, a small uh, input box and uh, it accepts method and action. We are going to use method post and uh, action, it's, it will be the target. Then um, inside the form, we are going to place uh, label, label for name and um, label form name and then we place here name little recap about these things uh, label is uh, good for uh, uh, for the crawlers uh, anyway so it's very recommended that you use it near your input even though it is not really necessary anyway an input is type text or type something else you have a, it, it has an id which is the same as the label and um, it has uh, a name as far as I remember, and um, we gave it even a name, which is name in this case, so it will make some mistakes, I think, maybe. And then uh, you can give it a placeholder, which is just uh, what uh, it will be displayed. Uh, so insert, insert your name. Same goes, uh, now I, go to, I will create surname, just copy and paste these things and um, here we write surname id surname name surname insert your surname and then last um, input type submit value um, value we, we even wrote a value value um, send data okay so our form is finished uh, we should uh, even style it a little let's see it now if Let's see. I mean, it's already quite good. I don't really want to waste your time styling this sheet. I just need to write here surname. Anyway, it's not the moment to make a CSS, uh, a CSS lesson, I think. So um, we have our surname, our um, our page we can come here and uh, you can place your my name okay and then send data and uh, um, it says uh, error what uh, of course it doesn't work because uh, uh, there is no example.php uh, at the moment and if you see the URL here we have um, we have example.php uh, so it, which um, because what the send the input submit has brought to our this to this page which doesn't exist and uh, and so it says uh, the, if the browser persist uh, contact the owner of the site okay thank you uh, error type 405 all these things are about networking in uh, any way but good to know there are errors of uh, errors there are answer of type 200 is accepted, uh, 300 is a redirection, and 400 is uh, not working. Then uh, it's much more complicated than this. Anyway, we just need to come here and, of course, write our example dot php. And um, here, okay, we have some, okay. 
Okay, so um, here you can, uh, the tag, to create a tag is uh, PHP echo um, PHP and then uh, question mark blah blah and question mark blah blah. This is how to open and close the our eight PHP tag. Um, it can be even like this, but uh, then there is a problem. Just stick with this for, for now. Um, then you you can echo is like uh, is like uh, how was it? Is like um, print. So you are printing on the screen. Uh, every programming language has its uh, echo. Um, so hello. Um, then you you, the dot in this case uh, is the concat is you is the how you concat uh, strings and um, then is uh, underscore post underscore post um, underscore post uh, name underscore if I remember well uh, I think yes it was name. Yes, then uh, um, dot space dot. I'm just trying to write. Uh, I'm just uh, trying to write hello. Uh, you that you have inserted your your features inside my inside my form. This is the goal. So. Uh, Let's stick to this goal. I think I did everything right. Here there is ID name, ID surname. So it should be okay. And um, about what is this dollar post? Dollar post is a global variable of, um, of PHP. And uh, of course, um, we will talk about it and of course is post because the method is post if someone doesn't know what is a post or a get method they are the two ways to send data through the internet in a broad sense post is the um, most secure method because it doesn't appear inside the url this is explained in two minutes in two seconds uh, <clears throat> last of course, uh, it's uh, there is the um, semicolon. If you, in JavaScript, if you forget semicolons, it's okay. It doesn't really freak out. Uh, PHP is less forgiven. Uh, maybe for one semicolon, but it freak out more. So remember the semicolons. It's a good practice. Then you come here. Let's see. And, aha, so the problem was that uh, um, I, I faced a problem uh, because I was so used to JavaScript that I, run the, that I run the server using the live server like this, but it's not the right way. Uh, as I told you from the, at the beginning, and I made the, the mistake that I told you not to do, so uh, you, you actually have to hard code, hard code to write um what where you want to go so <clears throat> i'm writing my path okay so i'm writing this which uh, is not the same it seems to be the same but it's not then you insert you can insert uh, your your data and as you see it works it changes the port the, actually as you see it changes act actually everything anyway um that's what I wanted to show. I review what I did here. Uh, we have opened a PHP file. Um, echo is the output. And then uh, we have our a piece of string that is concatenated uh, with a global variable that will display a string that it comes from an input, uh, then the space, and then the second input. Um, of course, uh, this is a very, very simple example. Uh, 
and um, probably you will uh, you will wonder how the difficult authentication codes uh, work uh, but uh, don't worry we are at the beginning and um, as time goes by things will get clear clearer and clearer that's uh, how programming uh, uh, works now uh, so thank you very much for watching the next videos won't be examples so we will uh, start facing syntax and uh, the basic structure of uh, php thank you very much for watching and uh, see you in the next video